Welcome back, everybody, to another video by Gaming with Kirby. I'm Kirby, your host. Today we're in Project Hospital again, but instead of playing in uh, the St. Joseph Medical Center, the big one that we were playing in last time, we are playing in a smaller hospital. And uh, we got a five bed emergency room, we got an eight bed observation room, and this is the uh, clinic. So we got four um, uh, floors. <laughs> Losing my mind. Four floors um, all together here. X-ray, MRI, CT, all that stuff here. Got this floor. We got um, intensive care unit. Six beds. Um, general surgery. All that stuff. And we got six ambulances. Let's see what we can get into today. It's early in the morning and the clinic is currently... Oh, no. It's late at, late at night. Not early in the morning. Alright. I don't know why I have you up. Okay. These are our patients that we're looking at. We got Margaret Lee in the intensive care unit. We got Carol Gonzalez. Gonzal yeah, Gonzalez. In the intensive care unit. Abdominal guarding. We got Thomas Martin Martinez in the uh, intensive care unit as well. Degloved skin. Well... Once he's out of the intensive care, he'll be on his way. And then we have... Uh, oh, alright. Then we have Mary Thomas in the intensive care unit as well. So, really big um, uh, cases I send uh, to the intensive care unit. Um, I don't remember why I even sent her, but... Um, Retinal laceration, definitely. Um, it's, uh, I sent because of the uh, hemorrhage that was happening. Deep wound on hand. It sounded like. Uh, oh yeah, he went to. Uh, yeah, he went into shock. That's why he got sent. He collapsed, and then <laughs> this definitely. The open, open fracture of femur definitely sounds like something that would need to go to the intensive care. So, that's why they're there. We got her. Alright. Skin allergy test reveals specific allergen that irritates the patient's skin. Well, she's going to be released come morning. And that's, I believe, all the patients that we have. in observation yep that's right all right cool we're gonna fast forward a little bit all right employee got drunk last night all right oh all right perfect Oh, increase ambulance patients per day to three. Yay! <laughs> three ambulance patients per day. Cool. What I'm actually thinking about doing is um, opening up the clinic really at night. I think I will do that. I'm going to pick these guys because uh, they're night owls. I'm going to have three. I want that 40%. Yeah, we should probably have the clinic open at night. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, she sounds pretty good. Yep, I understand. It's open 24-7. 
Ooh, there we go. Hello, Doctor. I'm gonna take you a little silver. Three doctors at night. You know what? Let's also. Put one on night shift also. I believe that is... Okay. And we're going to go up to... Whoops. Wherever this is at. Losing my mind already. Ooh, all right. Well, that sounds like the perfect person. Night Owl, I'll pick you. Uh, 72, uh, yeah. Okay, three people. Okay, that's all I need. I don't think we're going to have very many um, walk-ins at night. So, I'm just going to call that good. Save this. Yes, I did save it as the Wells County Medical Center. So if you did look at my uh, previous video showcase of the Wells County modification for 911 first responders, this would be what I imagine the hospital looks like. But, you know, I can't actually verify if that's true or not. So we're just having fun. This is just a game. Alrighty. Now we wait for patience. Yep. Oh, Alright, sweet. We like I like to keep my uh employees trained. Knowledge is very good. Yep, we're just going to mosey on our way. No patience yet. That's good. <laughs> Nothing. We're just going to go until we hear the uh, doorbell. Once you learn a little bit more about... Oh! Ambulance is taken off. Oh, well, alright. That was fast. Mary Foster. Oh, look at that! Woohoo! You are the best, Miss Foster. Oh, second ambulance. Alright. <coughs> well... We're going to have some uh, customers here in just a minute. <laughs> Training finished for Mary Miller. You know what? I want you to learn more about patient care, please. We got some public entrances. This is just like an employee's entrance. ER entrance. Another ER entrance. Clinic entrance is what this is stuff. you to uh, keep learning. Keep studying. Oh, and on. Alright. Alright, what do we got going on? Okay, well, we're going to need extra here right away. I'm going to take over him. Oh. Hemorrhage and exposed bone. This sounds <laughs> like it's going to be in, in intensive care. 
um, issue. No, or not. Uh, All right. Ow. Oh, nice. Alright, well, he has gone into shock. Hypervelic bell, but whatever, I'm not even going to try. Hypervelemic shock. I'm not that good sometimes at pronouncing words. But that's okay. Okay, come on. I need you to help him out. Okay, that's cool. Dexterity. majority of what I'm getting in the ER is this leg wound stuff. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, oh, upper limb. Yeah. He's doing alright. There we go. Yep. Alright, cool. Yeah, he's going to intensive care. I need you. Yep, there you go. Let's go that way. Actually, I don't actually need to take care of you. I'll let the doctors, for the most part, do that. Okay. Okay, nurse. Oh, wow. You are, you are going to study. You are very low on patient care. Wow. I did not realize that she was that low on patient care. That's kind of scary if you ask me, actually. Alright. Nothing we can do? I'm going to let you go. I'll keep an eye on you. I'm going to let you go, ma'am. Margaret Lee. Oh, I'm not even your doctor. Yeah, get him going um, to intensive care, please. And we are waiting for our patients to show to our clinic. And really, I could put another um, doctor's office right here. Get rid of that stretcher. I could move that stretcher actually here and put a new. Uh, good thinking about actually doing that <clears throat> just to have one more hmm I think I actually will right. let me go there doctor's office whoa that is not what I wanted neither that No. What? These are... No. Six by four. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. There we go, actually. Oh, uh, 72. I like that. You know what? Yeah, I'll... You know what? No. Oh, I'm not going to put a night... night um doctor in just yet, and I'm going to save this also. Make sure I don't save the wrong game. <laughs> now I got six doctor doctors in this clinic. Alright, you ready to go home yet? When did your observation end? Medium discomfort? How is it medium discomfort? 
Oh, sweet, eighty dollars. All right. Wait, are you leaving? Oh, you're going to the pharmacy. All right, lady, have a good day. <laughs> that was fast. When are you going home? Boom! Right now. All right. Um, are you guys going to, oh, there she goes. No, what about this? No. And I don't think that there's any actual, no surgeries, that's what I figured. Okay, well, who are you? Okay. Oh, where'd you come from? Didn't even realize that you had, um, gone. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to intensive care unit. Multiple arteries damaged. Holy cow! You definitely are going to, uh, yeah. Pneumonia? Uh, you know, you should probably be hospitalized. You'd die from that. Uh oh. Alright, you're going to the pharmacy. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. He's done. He is done for the day. Okay, what do we got? Oh, uh, you know what? There you go. It could be that. It could oh, nice. Oh wow, the clinic is already booming this morning. I just did the whatever thing. Uh, you guys going to like do anything? Hello? I swear, if my patient dies, oh, could be any of those, really. Vomiting. Okay. Well, here is the deal. You uh, should probably go get help and be hospitalized. I am just saying. To observation. Lots of people around. Lots of people waiting. Okay, internal medicine, perfect. Get him. Oh, wow. That is fiction. The ear. Ooh, that does not sound fun at all. Oh, IV antibiotics. He's probably going to need to be hospitalized for that to start. Okay. Oops. 
Okie dokie. What's up with you, a fever? Nasal drops. Sweet. Go home. send you to internal medicine just to be safe you do never know these days graves disease all right you need to be hospitalized before she collapses Observation. Where is that? All right. Wait. Okay. Okay, you're still studying. That's good. Is this the one that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're back. Oh. Okie dokie. Bye. Replantation. Sweet. Boop. See ya. Good luck. <clears throat> you know what? I will keep an eye on you. I'm going to send you up there. I don't even care about you. Because being honest with you, lady. Ankle sprain. I don't... I doubt you have to be um, hospitalized for that. But I don't... know. Okay, yeah, you need to... Uh, probably be hospitalized. <laughs> oh, whoops. There we go. I was about to say, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's you. She can't be hospitalized. Oh, well, what in the world is going on? Doctors too for the incoming in the on-call room. Okay. Why are we having troubles now? Oh. Okay. Because they're in getting educated. Oh, that makes sense. Whoops. You can only educate one doctor at a time. That is my bad. Ooh, run! Wow, they don't kid around, do they? I don't know if every one of them needs to be hospitalized. I actually don't know. Arm contusion. Really? Uh -huh. 
So I will leave those up to the doctors to uh, figure out. What is up, buddy? The common cold. Isn't that nice? Okay, what? Well, I can tell you it's not the plague. Poison Ivy Rash. I mean, you know what? I mean, it is an internal medicine problem, and my ambulance is here. Who do we have coming in? Yikes. <coughs> Excuse me, golly gee. I can tell you right now, I had bronchitis one time, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it was bad. Bronchitis is not fun. Okay, so it's going to be not that. IV antibiotics, I think they have to be hospitalized for that to happen, if I remember correctly. So, she's going to be hospitalized. I don't know why I just clicked that. You're going to the receptionist. Okay. I tell you right now. You are going to need an x-ray. Let me go, man. Sweet. You know what? I will take control of you just because, oh, great, she's a pirate. Doesn't pay for anything. That's great. <sighs> well, it's one of these. So, I'm going to go blah, temperature, you know what, I'm going to do that. Hospitalization over, okay. I mean, she wasn't technically hospitalized. She's at the clinic. I didn't hold her overnight. Nope. Nope. All right. <clears throat> Get out of here, bud. Oh, it could be any of these. Where are you at? Oh, you're right there. She's a pirate. I wonder if she knows Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, Influenza B. Okay. We don't have an infectious disease department, so... Makes it pretty easy sometimes. Oh boy, there's a lot of people waiting. I never actually expected my waiting room to get so, like, full. Okay, well, head over there, they'll be able to assist you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Are you gonna pay? Uh oh. I have no idea why that was 
looking at this lady, I wanted to see if she was going to pay at all. What? Oh, okay, internal medicine. I was going to say, did you pay? Did you pay my $200? Oh, I don't understand how... I don't know. I'm not even going to ask. The common cold. That is an emergency room problem. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Okay, well, he's going to intensive care. Um, we're going to get an MRI. That, you know what? We're going to get everything. We're going to do everything to this guy. Oh, hand contusion. Sweet. Get out. What are you doing in here? Oh. Trying to figure out what's wrong with you, huh? Well, we're gonna fit. We're gonna do everything in our power to figure out. Don't worry, ma'am. We will find out what's wrong. An ankle sprain. Oh, that's good. Means you are on your way out of here. Well, it's not that. It's not that. It's one of these two. Good luck. Um. Yeah. Uh huh. You definitely have something wrong. But oh nope, she's gone. Cool. All right, man. What is going on with you? Um, I don't know why you're going that way. <laughs> You need to uh, wait. Five hundred dollars. Okay. This is him, sweet. Uh oh. Oh, oh, man down, man down. Lung contusion. Oh. Coughing up blood. Oh, that, that doesn't sound nice at all. Oh. Alright, bud. Good luck. Nothing. Nothing going on with you. Oh, this is that guy just a second ago that I rerouted to the ER. Wow. All right, ma'am. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go through everything. Uh oh. You all right, man? Don't worry. You're at the right hospital. We're gonna figure out what happened to you. We're going to do e literally everything that we can in our power to see what's going, what's going on. I love that the nurses like run <laughs> pretty much, but the patients really. The, f the nail fungus in, in oh. athlete's foot. I'm like, why would whatever? Oh yeah, it is a clinic. I keep thinking that it's uh, the emergency room. Ooh, ooh, it could be either of these. It's not tuberculosis, which is a good thing. It's not that. It's this or this. 
don't know what we're gonna do. Alright. Uh, oh, she's going to observation, so I'm gonna do a blood draw. As far as you go. Um, x ray chest. All right, good luck, ma'am. All right. Good luck, sir. At least we figured out what it was. Oh, yeah. One of our... All right. Things are going good. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to you. 140 bucks. That's what I like to see. I'm about ready to send him to observation. Yeah, because we're going to send him anyways to... Uh, well, we're going to keep an eye on him. Any... Okay. You're on your way. Right. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you over you too. I am you. Keep an eye on you as well. Oh, ankle sprain. Send you to observation. Oh. Send her home, please. Oh. Okay, I get it. Oof. Okay, this is an emergency room problem. All right, just, you know, check her out. Do that stuff. All right. <clears throat> All right. Look at that. Let's get her out of the clinic. Get her on her way. Oh, we're still waiting for this person. Training finished. I am glad to hear. I want you to uh, do the thing. Please, and learn some more. I am just trying to help my patients here. Oh, hey. This is the last of the uh, clinic patients for now. Damn, I think we're doing a great job. you to do some training, please. Oh. You good? <clears throat> you don't look so well. Here's a hundred bucks. You know, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. <laughs> yep, off to observation you go. You know what? I'm going to keep an eye on you as well. I know. He's not doing good. I get it. And he's got dirty feet. I have no idea who is calling me. Whoever it is should leave a message. I don't know that phone number, and I don't answer numbers to uh, people I don't know. Sweet. Gotcha.
You are going to the pharmacy. Gotcha. Training finished. Good for you. Oh, she is the man. <laughs> Duh. Manager. Just sitting and waiting to hear an update from All right, your home. Your home. What about you? Oh, visiting a patient. Heck yeah. Let's see. Oh, hey, look, there's the classroom with all the people training. Visiting this patient. Oh, 240 bucks. Hey, I'm glad you're cured, sir. Ankle contusion. Sweet. Bye. Alright, need you to work on that. Sweet. I need you to work on that, please. All right. The more training that our um, doctors and nurses can get, the better they can help. Come into the lounge also to visit a patient. I wonder what. Oh, probably one of these patients. Yeah, visiting. Hi. Look at that. All right. That's cool. We got to see a uh, patient visit taking place. Patient visitor visit taking place. This is our internal medicine department. And she is visiting. Patient needs to be hospitalized. Okay. Regular hospitalization. There we go. Ah, oh, it can be confusing sometimes. Okay. What do we got going on? All right, you give her that. Okay. Oh, you're doing good. Looks like it. Oh boy. Well, I can't really help him with that, so. Gonna have to figure out another diagnosis, I guess. I don't know why these doctors aren't uh, issuing these medications, and I'm doing it. Okay, there's nothing for you. Oh, what about you? Nope, nothing. Cool. Procedures head. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, I'm taking it, or I'm, I'm guessing that you're probably going to be good. No, nope. internal medicine department. Right, out of here. Good luck, you're in the hands of doctors. Hopefully they will help you. All right. You look like you're all right. You look like you're all right. You look like you're all right. Except for you're waiting surgery. You look like you're all right. You know what? Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at you anymore. Let's see. Um, recommendations. Yeah, I'll send you in for an MRI. <laughs> waiting on all this crap. something. Let's see. Let's 
check on these patients. Uh, I don't think there's anyone somewhere. Can I check on you? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, patients look pretty good for the most part. How are you doing? Nothing still. All right, here's the deal. We're going to figure out real fast because I'm going to send you for everything. Okay, whatever HUS is, you definitely need uh, to be looked at. What about you? Okay, that's you. No, I don't know why I just did that. Probably kidney stone. Wait, what? Kidney stones? Why would it be kidney stones? I have no idea why I just said that. It's not that. It's one of these two. Yeah, it's just totally, totally making things up as I go, apparently. Kidney stones. Three hidden symptoms. I'll figure out what they are real fast. Who are you? I wonder what you got going on. Okay, cool. Let me know if... Got a lot going on, and uh, man, here we go. Yeah. X-ray lower limb, physical examination, figure out what's going on. Anywho, thank you guys for tagging along with this video today. I hope you guys had uh, fun. I definitely did. Um, it's a shorter video than last time. Uh, no, the last video that I um, uh, filmed was very uh, long. I do apologize for that, but um, thank you very much for tagging along, though, and let me know if you enjoy these series. I will definitely be more than happy to um, uh, uh, film more for you guys. All right, guys, have a good night, and we'll see you in the next one.